Let's make together a hammer using SolidWorks last version, step by step. So we'll do the hammer in SolidWorks last version. We will make this hammer step by steps, uh, high quality hammer with this wood effect. So we'll start, so we'll make two parts, which is the handle and uh, the head of the hammer. Then uh, at the hand, we'll join these two parts. So I will also show you how to join two parts, how to mount, how to install uh, parts, different parts in SolidWorks. So all these will be done in this tutorial. Let's now here start with a, a new page. We'll just come here to the new, click, and then parts, and then OK. So we'll now start making the hammer. The first part we'll do is the handle of the hammer. I will choose here the front plane, and uh, before that we'll go to the features, and then it goes to the reference, and then here, plane. From the plane, I will need to choose a reference. So it will be the front plane in this case. So that the front plane. And here, the distance of the plane, I will put 54. And I want at this first stage, three plane. Just come here and then OK. So I have done three plane. One, two, three. OK, it is done. Now, I will do again reference geometry plane and from this one what we'll do I will uh, use as a reference the plane number three come here to plane number three click and from this one here I will also choose a different distance what will be 42.5 now uh, I'm using here a metric system but if you you don't feel comfortable using this system you can also use the one you feel comfortable. Uh, so just come here and then put inch or you can define from the beginning. So if you want to know how to do that, just see my videos, understanding the SolidWorks interface where I explain in more details how to change, how to understand the interface. Now, from the plane, I will uh, here use two plane and then okay, and it is done. So I have now five plane and the six with the original one, which is the front plane. The next step will be, I will start define, uh, making the sketch in each one of this plane here. Come here to, to the sketch, and we'll start with the first plane, which is the original one, which is the front plane. Come here and then sketch. From here, I will activate the ellipse, and then start defining the planes, the, the sketch. From the center, click, and then just move up, like this straight vertical one, good. Then also here, straight. Then click. Now I need to define the first one, which is which is from this point to that point, will be 34, good. And also from this point to that point, will be 25.5. Then OK. So this first one, it is done. And then OK, rebuild. So it is done, the first one. Now, if I just move like that, I will see that it is there. Now I'll go to the plane. Number one, same thing, sketch, and then uh, activate the ellipse. Just zoom a little bit, control to move away. Okay, now activate the ellipse and then come here to the center as well. Click, move up, make sure that it is uh, in the vertical direction and also move to the sides and then okay. Now I'll make the dimension from this point to that point as well. And here will be 26. OK. And from this point to that point. So I'm, I'm doing here step by step because it is a beginner friendly. So that you can follow me and you don't get lost during the this drawing, right? So OK, now it is done. And then I come here, OK, and then rebuild. So I'm doing step by step so that you can also uh, design with me. OK, now. I will go to the same one, so it will be the same steps, I will just doing the ellipse in all of the six plane.
so we have done all the five uh, the six plane so one two three four five six now the next step will be we will uh, join all this one here using the loft we'll come here to the loft but be in mind that uh, this will be the loft from here right so this loft loft base we'll come here and then activate and we'll start with the, the first one which is done here right click here to this first one and then we'll go to the second one which is this one here so you can see it is loft but make sure when you use the loft you need to define the the right point so we'll be here to this point here okay you can see it changed right so you should click below not in uh, the middle or in the center just below we'll do the same thing from here so now it is moving right i'm clicking just below make sure that i do everything so it is done this step and then come here and then okay and then so it is done so this this steps it is done we have done the, the handle step by steps and uh so that the way it should be so make sure that when you click the loft must be below so that's the one we did now what i will do now is i will come here to this uh, first one so this uh, this first one here and uh, what we'll do we'll use the chamfer come here to the chamfer click there go to the chamfer and uh, the chamfer will define we'll put here four we'll keep the the angle and i will just come here to this point and then okay so it is done the chamfer right there so that's the one i want like that so it is good now let's go to the next step next step here after i done this loft and the chamfer so it is also there what we'll do now here we'll come here to this eye just click to hide all so i have already hide the plane and i'm just looking in the on the handle itself we'll just come here to this uh, face select this face and then go to the sketch so from this point here right so what we'll do i will go to the here rectangle and we'll just choose the center rectangle okay now we'll come here to the center just click to the center and then i'll we'll just move like that so that's the way i want from the center then click now i'll go to the smart dimension and then uh, define the distance here so here i want to be 17 okay and then here i want to be let's see 9 put here nine then enter so it is good i will come here and then okay right and then rebuild good so what i will do now is i will come to, to the features and i will use here the extrude from this last one so extrude come here to do extrude okay so if i move like that so we'll see my extrusion just move like that to see very well so i will put right there 37 gonna be like 37 then see so it is good now okay so it is done so that's the one i want like that so i am happy with the, this result the next step will be i will go to the top plane activate sketch and we'll just zoom like that and then make sure that's uh, control to move a little bit as well control and make sure that uh, it is straight okay like that is good and what we'll do i will uh, activate the line i want uh, the center line and uh, i will need vertical line from this center then goes up can be up to there no problem and uh, okay you also need uh, one more line so uh, this time it will be horizontal line and it can be also infinite no problem from this point here good and then yes key one more line the last one will be the center line as well this time as well infinite and vertical line will be from uh, about this size now i can uh, define the size come here to the smart dimensions from this point to that point and i will here define the distance of uh, 0 0.8 0 0.8 and then give enter good now okay i will activate the line this time will be normal line and i will just come from this point here from this uh, this end goes up to there so I, I i don't have yet the dimension we just can put there like that and then move up so up like that as well make sure that it is also vertical 
and I will need to define here the dimension for this line here. So here will be 14, 1, 4, enter, and here can it be 5.75, 5, how clear, so there is uh, 5.75, 5 okay, like that, good. Now, okay, activate again the line, I will click here, we'll go up to this point, this end. Make sure that, that uh, your, we'll just come here, ES key first, and then make sure that I am in uh, the right view. Now, I will activate again the line, come here to this point, move like that, and then make sure that until finish to this end, just click there, and then click also where I start, right here, and then click done and then come here okay and then okay again and then rebuild so after these steps what we'll do we'll come to the extrude cut come here click and then you will have this this formation right like that so what you want is uh, the mid plane so we'll come here to the mid plane come here where is a blind select and then go to the mid plane 37 it is good then just come here so what you have to do just come here and then click okay so it, it will cut. So that's the shape I want. Next step will be, I will, uh, so while it is selected, the cut extrude, I will go to the features, mirror, and here I will uh, define, come here, and then define the right plane. So if you come here to right, so you have the top and you have the front. So you want, you want the right plane. So that's the one you want, and then click OK. So you mirror the same shape in both sides. So that's the one I want. And uh, the last steps, what will be here is the appearance. You will go to the appearance and then just put that wood effect. To do that, we'll just uh, come to the appearance. By the way, if you, if you don't see here, put your cursor here, right click, and then goes to the to the toolbars, and then goes here to the tax pane. And then from here, you will need to go to the appearance, click appearance, just move to the side. And from the appearance, you will go to the organic. Come here, appearance, and then find the organic. So that's the organic. And then from the organic, choose the wood. Okay, that's the one we want and the wood just find the the style of wood you want just click until you find the one that uh, you feel good so just goes to the arc hook and then drag and the drop body so i think this one here it is good so i am happy with these results and then we just find here finish uh, uh, the hand what i have to do is uh, save my part to come here and then part so this will be the handle, handle of the armor, like that, or hammer handle. And then, uh, okay, so this first part, it is complete now. What we'll do, we'll go to, to the next part, what will be the head of my hammer. Now, let's do the, the head part, what is the, the hammer itself. We'll start with uh, the front plane as well, sketch, and I will here use the center line, can it be infinite line. I will start with the vertical from the center, and one more line like that. Okay, now I will make a second line. This time will be horizontal line, infinite line as well from the center. And also one more on the top like that. Good. Now I will uh, make the measurement for this two line. So here will be 39, okay. And uh, from this point to that point, it will be say 80 good so i will start now making the sketch activate the line from the center just put one line like that okay so now i will um, make the dimension for this line can it be the angle we'll put 85 and the distance between here to here so will it be 36.50 enter okay now i will make a second line from the center, horizontal line like that. Then also go up, can it be like that, this way. Now let's uh, put the dimension for this one as well. This one, I will put 24, enter. This angle will be 85. And the distance from this point to here, I will put 29. Good. Now, what will do is I will activate the Seco 
and uh, I will make a thick of three points. So we'll start this point will be here, also here, and and here. Now I will define the distance, the dimension for this sico. Uh, I will put I will put the dimension for this sico 220 or 219 can it be 219? I think it's better. Okay, no, good. Now I will use the trim at this point. So I will just come here to the trim, and I will uh, trim this line, this sico. Let's just zoom in see okay as well here to this point and i will just trim up to there and there as well here okay so it is it is good and then okay now i will uh, activate again the line from this point so we'll just come here to this point here and then we'll click just move like that and then click now we'll make the dimension for this one first the angle the angle will be 30 and the distance between this point to that point I will put 3 ok now I will uh, make a second sico what will be from this point that point and also here just go again to the sico activate the sico 3 points I will start here goes to here and then come down to here like that now I need to as well give the the size and the size for this sequel would be 149. Okay. Now click OK and then uh, I will uh, as well trim. Just come here to the trim. We will start trimming this this line as well. Click there, also there, and then see as well here and uh, as well trim into this point. So I am trimming this line, okay, like that, so it, it is good, now we'll come, okay, and then uh, click the build. Next step, what we'll want to do, I will, uh, I can now delete all this line, yes. So, next step, what we'll do after I done this, I will uh, select this, this sketch, and what we'll do is, I will uh, use the extrude, goes to the features, extrudes, and from this point that's that good and i will just come here with the plane and uh, it will be we'll put 22 22 and then click ok so i have so this uh, initial of my of my hammer let's now make the other part of our hammer we'll go to the front plane then sketch and here we'll uh, again activate uh, the center line we'll just use infinite path length and then vertical from this center and also one more from from here okay like that and then uh, i will make a second line as well center line and it will be i'll say about so it can be horizontal line as well and, uh, and then can it be about this size and then i will also activate the, the center line as well in this case will be horizontal line and then also infinite uh, length and uh, can it be about this size like that, good. And then OK. I will uh, activate the smart dimension. And from this point, that point, it will be 41.5. Enter. And uh, I will also make a second one from uh, this point to this center here. And then here will be 24. OK, so that's that's good. And then what we'll do is OK. And I will activate the line. And we'll start here making from this intersection, just like that. Click. Come also here, horizontal, and there, and then close here. This is good. Now I will uh, again use a smart dimension, and this line will be 12.5. Okay, and here will be 25. Good. Now I will use uh, the go to the features, above base, and I will use this one here. Okay, and uh, I have this initial part. Okay, so we didn't finish yet. So now what we'll do. From this point is, I will uh, go to the features again, go to the reference, choose the planes, and then I will um, use as a reference plane this one here, this face. That's nice. Now I need to reverse the position, and I will here make make the dimension. Let's be, let's see. We'll put ten. Let's see. We'll put here ten. Okay. So it is in the middle. Goods will uh, decrease a little bit to nine. Let's see. 
is good so i think eight it is better we'll put eight now it is better than okay so now let's work in uh, this new plane it's on here done click sketch just here change the position so i will uh, come here again right click and then okay that's the one i want then come here to the seco just click to the seco activate the seco and then it will be this one from the center so i want to be right in the center click there and then move click there just, just like that and then smart dimensions and we'll put here 17 will be 17 okay good and then click ok rebuild so that's the plane number one so what we have already done and uh, i will also here activate the, the right plane like this one here click to the right plane sketch and then I'll also ch again change the position just right click and flip to normal here activate the seco goes again to the center and then i will make a second seco like that and the smart dimension this one will be we can say here 19.5 let's see okay good so i have now we okay and then come here to rebuild so i have three different seco i have this one that one and also this one so what i will do i will go to the loft loft base this one here okay so i will now start come to this one good and then to this one okay so that's the one i want and uh, i am happy with this uh, result just come here and then click ok click ok done so we have this result so if you want to see very well just come here click view and that's the one we have now let's uh, here start uh, making last part of our drawing so we'll make here a hole right here so that we can uh, attach the handle we'll just come here and then sketch from this point i will um, go to the lines and then uh, use the center line and here will be horizontal line you can put as well infinite length from the center and as well we'll just click ok so we'll also make one vertical line from the middle and then okay so i will uh, activate the rectangle and i want the center rectangle from the center here click and then just move like that and then uh, we will make the dimension remember that we use in the handle that the top side we put 17 19 so here uh, we need to give one extra because of the tolerance we'll put here instead of 17 we'll put 17.2 so one tolerance and here i will put 9.2 will be 9.2 okay now it is done so uh, we'll just come here okay and then we'll use the extra the cut come to the features extra the cut this one here and the length of that uh, that uh, top side of the handle is uh, 37 so here i will put 36 now we'll, here we'll put 36 like that okay and then click okay so we have this 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 hole as you can see very well we have this this hole right there so that's the hole and then it is it is good it is okay and uh, let's now make the other part the other part will be from uh, this point right there here so we'll come to the top plane the front so right so we want the top plane and then sketch so here in the the, the top plane i will uh, activate again the seco from the center we'll just put here one line about here and then uh, click dimension would be three put here like three diameter for this seco and uh, i will as well activate the line like that click there good so we need uh, as well uh, just put here one uh, one line like that we'll use one more line i want uh, a tangent line as well from this center okay good now you can use uh, the trim and then join this two point click the line and then join this two point here okay so rebuild now we're gonna use the again x to cut come here so this this side and uh, i want to be to the top like that and click ok so we have here complete the head of our armor now let's put here some chamfer we'll just put here the chamfer the last thing we want to do is uh just goes to the appearance again and then make here the material we'll come here to the material just move a little bit to the side and the material here will be a steel so we have the fabric metal we'll go to the metal and the metal iron we'll use here the iron let's see we can make here the this one okay so this one here is good all body like that so we we have our hammer with the iron thank you so much for watching these videos and to avoid making these videos so long please just 
check this uh, other one here which is how to assemble the parts so it is uh, a short video of about three minutes and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and see you to the next one